In today's episode, a bug will be fixed. A Red Bull can will be in danger. And a tractor will be slightly overqualified for his job. This is a Russian ship that was transporting a bunch of cars and trucks when overnight one of them caught fire, which spread to almost all vehicles on board. There is not a single article about this accident, but the good news is that all of the cars were not occupied and everyone is okay. There's a couple of theories behind what caused the fire. Some people claim it was caused by the rough sea, which smashed the cars against each other, caused a fuel leak which then ignited. However, what seems more plausible is the fact that the cars that are being transported seem to be old and used up, which means there's a big chance that at least one of them had some sort of battery issue, which could have been made worse by salt water that probably leaked into one of the cars and caused a short circuit. What do you think? Also, check out how the metal chains and hooks just deformed under the extreme heat. A few weeks ago, we had the Polish National Flag Day. However, in Texas, any day is a good day to bring out this monster. One of my viewers went to a drag racing event and found this insane Audi RS3 that makes around 800 horsepower on the original engine. He also captured the Audi's older brother, which is almost faster than the camera guy's reaction time. Now here, we have a super interesting video. At first glance, this is a Ford Mustang GT500 simply crashing after blowing up its engine. Oh my gosh. However, some people in the comments of that video claimed that the driver crashed on purpose after the engine blew, so he could claim an insurance payout. So, did he crash because of the oil spill from the engine or for the insurance claim? What do you think? No. Speedboats, or generally any other boat that is quite fast, has something called the survival shell, or capsule, whatever you prefer to call it. Basically, while the rest of the boat is built to be as light as possible, which may reduce strength, the capsule itself, where the driver sits inside, is almost indestructible. In the event of a crash, the entire boat gets destroyed, except for the capsule, which keeps the driver safe. Also, they obviously need to be waterproof to be able to float on water, at least until the rescue crew arrives. Just had that kind of real brief feeling and as everybody seen in the video. Nothing to see here, except for automotive perfection. A Ferrari 812 Superfest with a custom Gintani exhaust doing some donuts. <laughs> This is a Swin car, a electric powered mixture of a dune buggy, go kart, moon buggy, and a tiny bit of a mountain goat. With a range of 100 kilometers or 60 miles, this creation can go pretty much anywhere. This 12,000 euro monster makes it also possible for people that are bound to a wheelchair to go anywhere they want. With 120 kilograms or 250 pounds, it is even lighter than your. Everyone who watched the movie Ford vs Ferrari will have to put his phone in the left hand now. This is a Ford GT40 doing a cold start. The advantage of lightweight cars is that you can put almost anything into them to make them super fast. This is a Daihatsu Hijet with a 600cc bike engine. I may have found the best sounding diesel engine. This is the Nissan Petrol Y61, which has a V6 diesel engine. Equipped with a custom exhaust system, it sounds pretty nicely. When you are in a race, right behind someone, it is crucial to not follow his moves exactly. Why? Because of stuff like this. You know what sounds mean? A camped V8. 
You know what sounds meaner? A straight piped V8. But you know what sounds the meanest? Is it even a word? A straight piped and camped V8. This Camaro happens to be just that. My quest of finding the worst quality car related video on the internet is still going on, but here's a contender for the worst audio quality ever. A guy from 2007 or 8 doing an audio test of his new audio system. <laughs> One of my subscribers' friends has a really loud exhaust. That is all I have to say. I hear shots. This is apparently the most smoking tractor puller in the world. And no, I am not talking about cigarettes. It has two turbocharged V12 diesel engines that come straight out of a T55 tank. The expected power output is around 3,500 to 4,000 horsepower. I was supposed to become a construction engineer, but life decided that I should make YouTube compilations instead. Anyways, if I were an engineer, I would make this creation more widespread. Imagine how much more efficient construction sites would be. I absolutely love it when a car is fitted with an engine that makes absolutely no sense. Here's a Volkswagen Bug with a LS1 V8 engine. I can only imagine the perfect weight distribution, at least if you want to do some wheelies. And you know it's good when it needs to be started with a screwdriver. <laughs> Apparently, this guy rented out this Mercedes AMG GT, removed the plates and never had a driver's license in the first place. Then he did this. Now, I am sorry for this video not having any audio, but I am sure that my editor will recreate it in post-production. Strong brakes and the center of gravity in the front. Yep, it's stoppy time. Here's a pro tip, do not store your Red Bull next to a road where Audi drivers tend to drive by. And by driving by, I mean flying by. Now, I'm sorry because there's only this super low quality video of this happening, but it was too funny to not include. Everybody was okay, by the way. Of course, uh, to the true performance of uh, these AMGs. Just when you thought it finished revving and is about to hit the red line, this RX-7 just keeps going and going. This is an insane over 500 horsepower Audi A3 doing a launch. Sprint cars are infamous for occasionally taking flight. The driver of this one, Tyler Harris, escaped without any injuries after running too wide and crushing the barrier. Tyler Harris big into the wall. When you think of insane off-road performance, you may think of Jeeps. This is where you are wrong. The king of off-road cars comes from Austria and it's called the Puch Pinzgauer, mainly used by the Austrian military. <laughs> I also found this Pinzgauer rollover test. Whether it is successful or not, you'll be the judge. Dieser Test soll zeigen, ob der eingebaute Überrollbügel den Belastungen eines Unfalls standhält. 
guess this classic race car by the sound. Correct, it is a electric guitar. On a more serious note, this guy is recreating the 2004 Monza GP pole lap record that was set by Rubens Barrichello or Barrichello. I don't know how to pronounce this, sorry. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, so I asked Google to help. A double waterfall located right next to a road. Probably one of the most beautiful roads out there. And this is how it looks when you drive past the waterfall on a windy day. Subaru and Deep Snow. Something just feels right about this combination. On a serious note, this is why all the drivers a must in regions where snow falls regularly. And another Subaru freeing itself, because why not? <laughs> this is why! That's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.